Europa 11 has mysteriously been destroyed en route to the Jovian moon. The player, the lone survivor of the ill-fated mission, comes upon the Nautilus. That's how Event Zero begins. Developed by Ocelot Society, Event Zero, in a nutshell, is a first-person exploration and puzzle-solving game in the same relative vein as games like Gone Home and Firewatch, but whose core interactions focus around communicating with the sole survivor of the Nautilus, the AI known as Kaizen. Event Zero is a mystery, tasking players with getting to the heart of what went wrong on the Nautilus. How the player goes about doing that is what makes Event Zero so unique. Players type directly to Kaizen, making for one of the most interesting interactions I've ever seen in a game. It's not just simple things like open door D11, but complex things as well. Kaizen generally reacts intelligently to messages from the player. It tells jokes, chides players for swearing, and even convincingly expresses feelings of sadness and isolation. It's an utterly relatable character, and entirely believable. Occasionally, it does get hung up in heavily scripted strings of text, which cause it to not react dynamically to player input, but really, it, that's a minor annoyance at most. And in retrospect, it really also reminds me of listening to a friend trying to give you the hard sell, even though they've convinced you in the first few sentences. Visually, the game reflects its setting very well. Event Zero imagines a world that was brought together with the Apollo 11 moon landing, a world that focused almost entirely on getting to the stars. By the 80s, humanity is building star liners to ferry passengers throughout the solar system. In 2012, the year the game takes place, mankind is launching its 11th mission to Europa, and the first to send astronauts down to the surface. The brief experience set on the Europa 11 reflects a modern take on the space program, which reminded me of the mock-ups of the Dragon capsule that SpaceX is currently working on with NASA, while the Nautilus evoked a luxury version of the Nostromo from Alien, what with its large CRT displays and very lived-in design. Simply put, I think the game is gorgeous and thoroughly enjoyed looking through every single nook and cranny of the ship. While I could go on and on about the story of the game and its deeper existential meanings, I won't. I'll save that for a different video. I don't want to spoil the experience for any new players. The true strength of this game, or at least where the impact really lay for me, was coming into it as blind as possible. Now, while this story may not have had the emotional impact of other games, it certainly made me think in a way that very few other games or books ever have. Without going into too much detail, I found that it reminded me a bit of Sartre in his exploration of the nature of human interaction and no exit. Event Zero is a short game, only about two hours long on first playthrough. It's a very well-crafted piece of entertainment that I feel is worth the price of admission for anyone who values story and exploration in their interactive media. Honestly, I'd recommend it to people who prefer more action-based gameplay simply because I feel that this is a more approachable game than many of the others in this particular type of genre. For me, Event Zero is a hidden gem made all the better by coming in blind. It's a delightful journey of exploration and reflection peppered with personality and visual flair that I won't soon forget. It's currently available for Mac and PC, and I can't recommend it enough. It's the end of the road was a hard trip You didn't choose The easy way